Hello and welcome, I'm Carl Martin and this is Music Talks. We're here for an interview with Ma Rob McGuffin. You got it right first mm -hmm. time. From Kids With Lighters. Kids With Lighters, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to be talking about your band and what you've experienced so far and yeah. what's to come. Yeah, that's cool. So how are you? Uh, I'm very well, I'm sort of recovering from the sleep deprivation. <laughs> So yeah, we've we've got some we've got some crazy things happening at the moment. Um, so just trying to get everything sort of um, of booked for for Friday. Yeah. So obviously where where we're here today, so just trying to sort of promote that. Yeah. But yeah, uh, uh, generally so so starting to stress less yeah. now. Once once obviously you know, it's like pushing a wagon. Once you start to get it moving, it starts rolling. Yeah. Not that I've ever done that, but yeah. you, know, <laughs> you, you, you understand. Maybe you could give it a go. Just push a wagon and see how much it takes. Right, you heard it here first, guys. Me and Mr. Martin over here, we are going to push a wagon for Music Talks. Um, and we're going to ask for sponsors £2 we'll a mile. £2 a mile. We'll give the funds to charity. It's all been sorted already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She was a mover. The DJ played her favourite song. She said that someday. A rock star boyfriend would come home and now she's crying. So uh, we'll, we'll do the one that we do with all the bands now. Crack on. I've got to say, uh, I'll ask you, I should say, um, where did the name come from? Okay, um, the summer last year, mm -hmm. uh, we formed around autumn time, but over the summer, um, it was Cam actually, the lead guitarist, who came up with the name. We were burning um, my girlfriend's exam, like we both have, like revision and things like. She didn't need it anymore from from college, and we've thrown it in this um, this furnace in the garden, and wind picked up, and they were trying to light this uh, like light the paper, and it just wasn't working. And Cam said to me, oh, "Just a couple of kids and lighters, eh?" Uh -huh. I like, ooh. Yeah, it so yeah, like it, it, it just it, it went in the uh, it yeah, went in the memory bank. bank. For it. Yeah. It, it was it was the best of what was in there at the time, so we went with that. Yeah. yeah. And when you came together with the band, did you already have that in mind for anything? Yeah. I think I'd I'd been sort of walking around with who I was going to form the band with. Yeah. Um, in like August, I said, yeah, we're going to make a new band. And it's going to be Kids with Lighters. That's yeah. that's the name. That that's what it's going to be. And they were all up for that. Uh, well, some of them were. Some of them were <laughs> yeah, from from the original lineup. Mm -hmm. And then um, I got gigs. In October and November, sort of sorted, and then like three weeks beforehand, we went to do our first practice <laughs> with the with the, with the the, the court arrangement we've yeah. got now. Oh yeah. And yeah, like three weeks later, we we, we turned up at a gig with a six-song set, four covers, and, and two original tracks. Mm -hmm. And two original tracks we still play, yeah. and we'll play on Friday as well. Oh, cool. That's yeah. good. Okay, so when you got together and you yeah. started playing gigs, like you just said, then um, did you find it hard to get out there, or did you just seem to break your way into it? I think the the worst thing you can do, um, you know, if I was going to advise a new band, the worst thing you can do is be shy and undervalue what you can do. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying you should go out there and say, yeah, we're the next Oasis or nothing like that, but you should definitely you know, show a bit of confidence in your ability, you know, because that, at the end of the day, if you're confident, and without being too much of a bell end on stage, people are more likely to enjoy it. Which is what I've, I've found out the hard way, really. Yeah. You should never undervalue yourself. Um, I mean, the lads were lucky, really, because I've had experience working with uh, with likes of Steve McMillan, oh, yeah. who's a very good local promoter. Yeah. Um, and obviously, we've worked with him a couple of times. Um, Paul Salvi as well, he booked our first gigs in, in the likes of Halsby. And it's, I mean, for me as well, I think. One big help for getting gigs has been playing open mics in Chester and Liverpool as well. I've played in both there, and then there we've got gigs, gigs in Chester and Liverpool oh. since. So that that says so, what the value yeah. of them. So you go out there and yeah, just 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 play your best. Treat it as if it is Glastonbury. Yeah, yeah. good advice. Have you been um, working on any content with the band, like towards an EP or anything? Oh, definitely. I mean, all the, all the writing we do, you know, we, we never intentionally got to write a B side, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, everything everything we've wrote, we've got five or six original tracks. Mm -hmm. It's always it's always a case of we never got like 
four or seven, it's always like sort of five and a half yeah. or seven, six and three quarter because we've always got like new ones on the way. So I prefer to have it like that. Yeah. And then obviously we've got like five polished ones and this one's just sort of like a new baby sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, I know what you mean. So we're nursing it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that generally tends to happen. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this, this is quite a few songs. It's another late night at the petrol station And the night's wiped out by the fog or lights A forlorn figure with a petrol can That's ain't got it very far tonight Now we're going to talk about what we're here today for Ooh. The casino gig Yeah Just tell me how you came about getting this gig Okay, right I, I usually I'm sort of on the ball with things like this. Like we see things on Facebook, some Facebook at it. Yeah. Uh, I got in. Oh God, it, was, it would have been Saturday night. Uh, I finished at seven, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and I was knackered. And then I, I was I was due to go meet the boys because we conveniently we'd arranged to go out and you know, go oh. go and have a drink together. Yeah. Because uh, we we just done a charity gig and we we did a bottle of, we did a bottle of sambuca for a charity gig because I said the club players said, good, guys so. you're brilliant here you go yeah. best I can do so we we agreed to down that together and my sister uh, texted me have you seen Casino Status I looked on it and I was like oh great because they were offering um, just saying you know, any any bands or acoustic acts want to want to open for us um, I put the put the band's name forward without even thinking it's like I knew he was in work on Friday. I mean, I'm in work today, oh, I'm <laughs> but I, I, I didn't care anything about that. Um, I think I put my name on first and then told the lads, yeah. said, right, can, can we make this happen? Um, at which point everyone was obviously really excited, because um, they all knew through, through me and Casino Art, because they were yeah. about, cause, yeah, they're, they're a good band. Um, and they're going to be releasing a new single to gig as well, which is ah, decent. Um, but, I've learned from like various people again you know, around like sort of local industry. Uh, again, like a good bloke called Mike Blade who plays a band called Room Service. He's he's um he's a nice bloke on Twitter. Yeah. And I, I learned a lot from him in terms of how to promote a band. So that's what we did, we made a hashtag and then we got so much response from it, it was unbelievable the, the, the amount of people. Um, so if anyone's watching, thanks very much for, for putting the word out because that was a huge help. So would you definitely advise Twitter for that? Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah. It's 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 right up there with Facebook. Obviously, the likes of Facebook is good because you can put the videos on there and you can have like a page layout. Mm -hmm. oh, and, and timeline isn't that bad. Yeah. Don't, don't <laughs> any hate on timeline. I quite like timeline. Yeah, events, obviously, to invite people and you know, just sort of show, advertise how you, know, how you can draw a crowd and you know how many people can, can look at what you're doing, how many people interact with you, which is important. Um, and Twitter, mainly for shouting. Yeah. It's basically the online version going, hello! Yeah. It's great. <laughs> so constant chat with Twitter. Oh, definitely, yeah. And, you know, I think the usual hashtags, I mean, we've got, we've got a really popular one with, with the sort of the following at the moment, which is Team KWL or, or Team Cool. I don't know where you're from. Um, <laughs> everyone uses that. So, yeah, I mean, anyone who attends a gig is automatically Team KWL. So, it's, yeah, it's all good. That's really good. Yeah. yeah. So, I definitely recommend Twitter. Mm -hmm. Now, um, can you just tell us more about this gig on Friday now, about what's going to happen? Yeah, uh, it is at the Actress and Bishop, uh, which is a, apparently a very well-known um, club in Birmingham for music. Uh, I haven't spoken to a few uh, like journos who've worked there. Um, it's quite well-known, it's, it's, it's a good sort of alternative venue. Um, it's the, obviously this, this Friday. Tickets are £8. And the doors are apparently are eight o'clock. Okay. I still have no idea what time. <laughs> it is, <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> what sort of stuff have you arranged with the band for on Friday? There's still loads of stuff we need to do. Like, we we sort of still sort of transport. That's like the first thing I've done this yeah. morning before coming here. Yeah. I've just got prices, and then yeah, it'll be a case of making calls later on and just confirming exactly what we're gonna do. Yeah. But yeah, it's probably a case of uh, many bus. See if anyone wants to come along. If they do great stuff, they'll they'll enjoy you know a uh, a great gig because the, the the guy who fronts casino is um he was someone from the Stereo Phonics, which obviously yeah. more people are likely to recognise. Yeah. I mean he writes brilliant songs with with casino like songs like Sadie Malone. Again, tracks you know, you can you can you can generally go crazy to. Yeah. It's always good. How did I listen last night? Oh, did you? Which yeah. ones did you like? Like um, particular ones? I can't remember. 
can't actually remember the name. It was the first one on them. Mm. Heavy Metal Machine. That's oh, it. it was Heavy Metal Machine. Yeah. Yeah, it's decent. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. yeah. I like that one, but I'm a big fan of Sadie Malone. I, I like that one a lot. Um, I went to one of their gigs in July. I think the first thing, as soon as I saw one of the guys from the band, um, I think I might have grabbed Joe actually and just said, um, what are the chords of Sadie Malone? <laughs> and he did actually write them on a little piece of paper, which I've yeah. still got somewhere. Oh, yeah, it was sounding to do that. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Cool. Yeah. Okay, well, um, it was great to have you here today uh, and talk about all this stuff. Lastly, though, do you want to tell the audience anything directly? Um, well, I suppose, I mean, it's, you know, part of the reason we've done the band is because we like to entertain people. Um, and we, you know, we like playing our music and sort of sending our message to an audience. Um, but we couldn't have done that without the following we've been getting. So, you know, in that case, thank you very much um, for continued support. And also, um, thanks to um, the families for putting up, for putting up with us, because, yeah, they, they, have to, they have to put up with a lot. And thanks to Casino as well for booking us, because that's cool. Them. So make sure that you check out all of the event details for their gig on Friday. And if you can, get down there and try and support them. Yeah, you can, if you go on the Kids of Lighters Facebook, if anyone's interested uh, in coming along, Go on, go on the Kids of Lighters Facebook and drop us a message and we'll get back to you, no problem. Cool. Now lastly, can you look into the camera and say, I am Rob from Kids of Lighters and this is Music Lighters. Okay. promise I'm not being held at knife point <laughs> by the man on my right. I'm Rob McGuffin from Kids of Lighters and this is Music Talks.